What's going on everybody? Welcome to the video. I hope you are having a fantastic day. So today I'm here with the new 2024 Genesis G70. This is the 3.3 liter turbo sport prestige with all wheel drive. And today we're gonna take a deep dive into some of its features and design. And before I get started, I wanna give a big thank you to Genesis of Wayne for providing me with this G70 for this video today. So as always, we're gonna start under the hood. What we have here is a 3.3 liter twin turbo V6 engine, putting out 365 horsepower, 376 pound-feet of torque, and that's paired with an eight-speed automatic transmission with all-wheel drive. Zero to 60 takes just 4.5 seconds, Fuel economy ratings are combined 20 miles per gallon, that's 17 in the city, 26 on the highway, and the capacity of the fuel tank is 15.8 gallons. So starting up at the front, you have the Genesis badge right there just below the hood. It has that bold Genesis crest-shaped grille. This one being the Sport Prestige, you're gonna have a kind of smoked gunmetal finish on it instead of bright chrome. It has this nice diamond pattern going through it. Your radar sensors are housed in this plastic piece right here and just below that is your forward-facing camera. The outline of the grill is also a dark chrome finish. That same diamond pattern continues at the bottom where this inner cooler is, although down here it is flat black. And off to the sides you are going to have aerodynamic side air curtains. As far as the headlights go, this has that typical Genesis split headlight. The LED daytime running light is also split between that top and bottom housing. Those lights also double as the turn signal and in each housing at the top and bottom, you're gonna find a projector beam LED. Turning to the side here, you're gonna have power folding mirrors with LED indicator lights. This has more of that kind of smoked chrome finish that goes along the bottom of the mirror. That same trim is gonna be going all around the windows. As far as body lines goes, you have this nice strong one that starts at the fender, goes across and kind of fades back towards the tail light. And you have one running parallel just underneath there. This right here is an actual functional vent that comes in from behind the tire, so that's nice to see there. So when you unlock the door, you'll see there's actually a little light illuminating inside the door handle that's very good for nighttime visibility. Down below on the side, you get more of that kind of diamond insert pattern that we see on the grill, but this is flat black and it's not open. I do like the way they blacked out the roof right here around the sunroof area, but it would have been nice if they just made it completely black, but I think it looks fine. The overall side profile is just very slim, very sleek, and I think this looks really good. So taking a look here at the wheel and tire setup, this is a 19 inch two-tone aluminum alloy wheel. These also have painted red Brembo brake calipers. The tires it's riding on are Michelin Primacy Tour all season tires. In the rear, the size is 255.35 and in the front 225.40. So turning here to the rear, the rear end is very clean, very modern looking. The LED taillights in their shape directly mirror the headlights. And as you can see, the turn signals are also identical with that split design. I really like the shape of the actual taillights, the way it comes down and bends around both top and bottom. So down below here on the bumper, it's gonna be finished primarily in flat black at the bottom, but it also is painted at the top part of it, these oval shaped exhausts. It has a chrome finish on the exhaust. And as you can see, the pipes are real and functional. You do get this nice uh, paint match diffuser down here at the very bottom. And across the bumper, you're gonna have a bunch of different little parking sensors and a reflector on each side. I also really like the way they kind of emphasize the width of the car, the way this comes out over here and this sticks out quite a bit right here on the, uh, the quarter panel. It is pretty small, but it does tell you right here that this is the 3.3 liter turbo. Let's take a quick listen to this 3.3 liter engine. So to get into the trunk, there's a button right here. Press it and it goes all the way up. There does not appear to be a hands-free feature on this one. So let's see what we get in here. So in this bag, we're gonna have the floor mats, of course. This right here is just a book of documentation. Got wheel locks, very important nowadays. People getting their rims stolen 
all the time. This one has a nice first aid kit. This is quite a large first aid kit. This one also has a Genesis branded trunk liner. It is carpet though, it's not the all season. License plate attachment. And then underneath the floor, you have a jack set and a spare tire. It's a compact sedan after all, pretty nondescript. But what is nice, they did include a button to electronically close the trunk. And a quick shout out to this video sponsor, FitCam X. FitCam X is a custom hardwired 4K dash cam that is made for your specific car's interior with no exposed wires showing. And it connects to your phone via the FitCam X app. And they're offering all my viewers 10% off everything on their site using promo code OPTICAL. Link in the description. So now we are inside the 2024 G70. So let's talk about it. Starting up here on the dashboard, this is all soft touch going across. Nice red contrast stitching going along with that. Dropping down below that is some flat silver trim. On this lower part of the dashboard, this is finished in leatherette. Starts here in front of the screen. Again, more of the stitching. And it goes down around to the side of the console. The glove box though is hard plastic. Taking a look here at the door panel, this is gonna have the same soft touch upper as the dashboard. Now down here in the middle, we have this really nice black quilted Napa leather with red contrast stitching. This looks really good in person. I'm pretty sure you can't get the full effect on video here. Of course, leather on your armrests with more of the red stitching. You have this flat silver trim that goes down over here. And you have a speaker grill for the Lexicon audio system. One thing though, at the very bottom, this is hard plastic. This is covered in plastic right now, but this is an aluminum Genesis branded door sill. That's nice to have. And down below, you also get aluminum pedals. So now let's talk about these seats because they have a serious wow factor. So they have the same Napa leather that we just saw on the door panel. They're fully perforated, heated and ventilated. Again, that really nice red contrast stitching and piping along the side. And there's two memory settings for the driver. So this G70 has a really nice steering wheel on the horn button, so nice red stitching. Nice red stitching going along the inside and part of it in the middle is perforated, which is nice. The buttons on the right are gonna control phone, audio, and voice commands. And the buttons on the left are gonna control your lane keep assist, your cruise control, some of the other safety systems, as well as the digital gauge cluster. The wheel is also power tilting and telescoping. And speaking of digital gauge cluster, what we have here is a partially digital eight inch screen to the right. The speedometer on the left side is analog. So this display can show your trip computer, your tire pressure, engine temperature, all wheel drive system, oil temperature, torque and turbo info. You can also program it to show your media info as well. And at the very top here, you do get a head up display with your speedometer, safety system info, and it does display the speed limit. Here in the center of the interior is a nice 10 and a quarter inch infotainment touchscreen. I think it sits in a really good position in terms of visibility over it. You don't have to look down too far to see it and it doesn't block your view up above either. So this comes with all the different infotainment features that you would come to expect. It has its own navigation system, phone, Bluetooth. Now it does have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto but unfortunately it is not wireless. You must use a wire. I don't know why Genesis has this in their cars. They don't offer wireless CarPlay, which is crazy to me considering most Hyundai cars have it. And to make matters even worse than that, the cable required to use CarPlay is a USB-A, an old USB-A cable. You can't use a USB-C for CarPlay. So you have to bust out an old cable. If you don't have any more old USB-A cables, gonna have to get one. This is very surprising to me. But anyway, you can record voice memos. You have Sirius XM radio, Bluetooth and USB audio. You also have valet mode that's available with a subscription. And also with a subscription, you have access to Genesis connected services. So unfortunately, I can't show you Apple CarPlay on the screen because I did not bring my USB-A cable. And also when you think about it, having to use wired CarPlay kind of makes the wireless charger useless because you have to plug it in anyway. This Genesis G70 is equipped with a Lexicon premium audio system. Let's take a quick listen. So similar to other Genesis cars, the AC controls are on this digital display here at the bottom. 
You have these three different zones for airflow to choose from. You have your heated and ventilated seats here, as well as your heated steering wheel. Connections in the front here include a 12 volt outlet, a USB-A port, and a wireless charger. Here we have this nice leather wrapped electronic shifter. You just push forward for reverse. Then you get your backup camera and 360 camera. The left side of the console has this nice kind of faux carbon fiber looking trim there. The rest of it here is just a flat black. I really like the detail in this chrome trim that goes around the cup holder. This knob right here will control your different drive modes and there's a lot of them. The drive modes are Eco, Comfort, Sport, Sport Plus, and Custom. Nice soft padding here to rest your knee on. As far as storage goes, open up. As you can see, it doesn't go very deep and that's typical with cars that are built on a rear wheel drive architecture. And you do get one lone USB-C port there, but again, in order to use CarPlay, you still have to use the USB-A port that's in the front. And for the glove box, pretty big and it's also lined with felt. One of my favorite parts of this interior is gonna be the suede headliner. And it's not just the headliner, it goes all the way down to the pillars, comes all the way down to here. Up above here, we do get a standard size moonroof, as well as a holder for your sunglasses. So now I'm sitting in the back seat, right behind where I'd have the driver's seat adjusted for myself, me being six feet tall. So we have to keep in mind, this is a compact sedan, it is a small car. Luckily, they have these little notches cut out in the back of the seat. And with that, I have maybe two inches of legroom to spare. So you can get away with it, but anyone that's taller than me though, I mean, this seat is pretty far back. You can see no one's, no one's fit in there. That's for sure. In the center here, you get these nice large air vents with this nice chrome trim around it. Luckily, they did include two USB-C ports in the back. There's pockets behind the seats, but this is like that fishnet style. So I feel like that kind of restricts what you can put in it. Door panel still has all the soft materials as the front. Got the same nice quilted Napa leather on the door. Got the leather on the seats too. On the center armrest, nice and soft, two cup holders. And it has that really nice trim on the cup holder, just like the front too. MSRP of this 2024 Genesis G70 3.3 liter turbo sport prestige with all its options is $58,725. Big thank you to Genesis of Wayne for allowing me to come out today to show you guys the G70. They're located on Route 23 in Wayne, New Jersey, so stop by if you're in North Jersey or the New York City metro area. Let me know your thoughts on the G70 down in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please share with a friend and subscribe. It'll really help the channel grow. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any new videos. Let me know down in the comments what other vehicles you wanna see on the channel next. And be sure to follow at Optical Automotive on TikTok and Instagram, and check out the page on Facebook. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys later.